Hi, I'm Scott at EdibleMusic.com. As you've become familiar with compressors, you've gained a sense of how the attack time works, where when a signal crosses the threshold or comes above the threshold, then the attack time will tell the compressor how long it will take for the full compression to be affecting the signal. Look Ahead relates very closely with attack time, and it's useful for sounds that are too fast for a compressor. A lot of compressors, digital ones at least, will be able to get really close up, say 0.5 milliseconds or even less. The transient, or the, you know, if, you're, if I were to snap my fingers, that snap sound or a plosive or the, a little ting on, the, on, a, on a ride cymbal, those transients will happen so fast, around a millisecond, sometimes less. And often, compressors are not quite fast enough in order to capture the very, very beginning of that transient signal. So Look Ahead helps compressors to respond to the full signal by nudging the activity of the compressor a little bit ahead of the actual signal. The computer that you're using, your workstation, will read the the WAV file or will read the audio file and will get a signal. It, it's, it's as if it kind of looks ahead of the song and says, oh, look there, there's something coming. We're going to need to start compressing right now. So then it'll nudge the activity of the compressor a little bit before that transient information so that it will ease the signal down and it will capture that ting on a ride symbol, or the plosives, or the S's, or the snaps of my fingers, and it won't have that sharp transient anymore. It's very similar to how de work, where those processing units are designed to respond to those very quick peaks at the very beginning of a signal. So you can utilize the compressor look ahead in the same way by moving its activity a little bit ahead of the actual signal so that by the time the signal happens, the compressor will already be active and will ease down on those beginning transients. That's one very useful way to implement a uh, compressor look ahead in your mixes. Another is through using side chains. Often, especially if you're working in electronic dance music, then you'll want to side chain the low end or the bass to the kick, but if a compressor isn't able to move fast enough in, able to, in order to capture the very beginning of that bass and to let the transient of the kick through, then some look ahead will be useful to make sure that the bass is already being compressed just a little bit when that kick drum happens. So it does have some usefulness. Usually it's for peak processing. It's not so much for averaging kind of compression. So you'll want to also have often a fast release and then maybe for the averaging compression, you'll just use a second compressor for that. But Look Ahead helps to eliminate those very sharp peaks that might happen and it'll ease it down just a little bit and will then have the effect of making the signal more easily averaged out using a second compressor. Try it out. Have fun.